I was introduce you. It's a great honor and a privilege to introduce I Isaac Reifer. Reifer, born in Toronto, Poland. It's between Auschwitz and Krakow, a town in a very orthodox town. I went to the Holocaust. When were you born, Isaac? In what year? 28. 1928. Yeah. Not like me, like I can tell you the story from the beginning to the end. Yeah. But thank God, God saved me and guided me in the right direction. And I thought on him he's going to do the job completely and, and good things. <laughs> A grandson and great grandson. The only thing that I would like to tell you the last time I saw my mother, I went to work for the German. It was perfect. It was, it was uh, Esther Thomas. His wife's name is Dahlia. And she prepared the food and she told me to do an errand for her. She went to work. I did the home work. I don't remember. I go straight to the kill of the same day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was all by myself in the house. Luckily, the, my father was going to work, and he realized that there's something going on, and he grabbed me out of bed and he ran away from the town. So my mother passed away. Was killed with the knowledge that probably they killed me too, because that's what they did. And they went on the houses. They cleaned out everybody. But meantime, my father was going a little later to be dropped by a neighbor, and he realized what's going on, and therefore he grabbed me out of bed, and he ran away with me to a different town, Sostolice, in Poland. And from there, it started my, sto my long story. For one year, I was together with my father in the concentration camp, and then all was elections, and I was all by myself during all the years. My, my father did not survive, and no, nor did my brother. And, and I gave a long story to tell through the con concentration camps I went through. Markstedt, Verzeichen, Gosthausen, and was liberated in Buchwald. In the beginning, they sent us to uh, camps in Blachem for a few months, and also to Gades and Hauser. But that was for a short time. Then it was Markstedt. The Steichen goes all in the Buchenwald, and I was liberated in Buchenwald together. Uh, at the same time, uh, 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 Elie Vazel was there in the same room, but he was there for a short time. I come from Poland, which the Germans occupied in 1939, and he was from Hungary, which he came in 1944. And there's a long story to tell, but this is not the time to start. Yeah. We have another opportunity, I'll tell you. So the only thing that I thought is that my mother thought that I probably was killed. Meantime, I was saved and somehow, by miracle, I was alive and got married and, uh, and, and have a beautiful family with grandchildren and great grandchildren. And uh, it was pretty successful in, in every direction. The rest will be... And, and what, what message do you give to your, your mishpacha? Huh? What message do you give to your mishpacha? <laughs> what, uh, what message? What... What do you mean? What, you mean? No, what my, message? My, my grandfather was uh, the hostess. I uh, don't know. That's what you want to know? What, what message do you give? Uh, oh, my children? Yeah. I, I, I wish them the best and I hope for the best. And I look at them, they are fine and they have a choice of a free freedom and to become whatever they choose in their life. And they uh, about making good kind of the uh, old uh, uh, modern orthodox, uh, and we had a lot of love for them. And how long have you both been married? Huh? How long have you been we married? Are 70, we just celebrated 70 years of marriage. 70 years, kind of yeah, marriage? Yeah, now April 11, 1954, we were married. Wow. And we uh, celebrated in Israel <coughs> our 70th year in uh, marriage. So, and we are still very much in love. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I just want to thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. I so appreciate it. You should only have muzzle and brocha. Oh. At, at, at Mayweather's room. And, and today is a wonderful simcha.
Everything yeah. is wonderful. It's wonderful. Right. For all, all of our Everybody should have a lot of knockers. And can I ask, where were you born? Do you mind me asking? Oh, I'm not very good at that. It doesn't matter, but... I was born in Germany. In which town? Münster, Westfalen. And when I was a baby, we were all thrown out of Germany and took over. Because my parents were Polish. They lived in Germany about 10 years. And that's, I, that's why I was born in Germany. And then... In, in what year were you born? Excuse me? When were you born? What year? I was born 36. And your family name, your parents' name? My parents' name, well, my father's name was Max Teicher, and my mom was from home, uh, Miriam Schaff. So they both, I, I am, of course, Teicher, Ruth Teicher. And we went through the Holocaust in Poland. As far as I'm going to go. Well, Baruch Hashem, this is a nice, it's a miracle. True. It, it really is. And you've brought up such a lovely mishpocha, such a wonderful family. Wow. We heard about you, that you want to do <laughs> it. Well, so my husband said that he has, it on, he has it on the YouTube, so you could really see it. So they said, no, you want to talk to him first. Well, it's such a schut, it's the biggest schut. Okay, so now okay. you have the story. It was nice meeting It's a you. nice to meet can you hold this for yes, a second? Of I just want to thank you both. Yes. Okay, if I can just thank you both so much, you should only have Muslim and Brocken. Thank you. And to the same as Brocken, to have three survivors, three grandparents that are survivors. It's Mama Shanice. It's incredible. When I wasn't, uh, they were, they were but, in a camp. But to be here, it's, it's a missing benefit. It's a miracle for you. Amen. And we only spoke as a Mazelton Mazelton. Everybody should continue having love. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And nice meeting you. Nice meeting you both. And thank you very much.